Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Power Up on this wonderful day. Today is Friday, and it is Friday, June the 28th, and hope that you are doing well on this Friday. Uh, hope that uh, you've had a wonderful week and uh, looking forward to the weekend uh, and being in the Lord's house. Hopefully you are as well. And I want to encourage you on this Friday, uh, June 28th, to hit that share button real quick. We'll get started here in just a moment. Uh, and let me just kind of give a, a quick synopsis of the weekend here, if I may. Uh, first of all, uh, we had a wonderful time of prayer last night at our cottage prayer meetings, and hopefully uh, you were able to make it. If not, I would encourage you to, to make it out to our next cottage prayer meeting. Uh, it's just a wonderful time together as we spend some time in prayer. And there's no, listen, there's no judge. You know, a lot of, pe a lot of people say this, why well, I, I don't. Um, I don't pray a good in public and all of that. And I, and I get that. Uh, I, I get nervous when I pray. I get that. But you know what? There's no there's no judgment of, oh, man, they look, listen to their prayer. There's none of that. Uh, we're praying. Uh, we're just getting along with God. And uh, everybody everybody prays a little bit different. Everybody uh, has a different comfort level. Okay? But I want to encourage you. I'll be a person of prayer. Listen, let me, let me tell you this. I'll tell you this. So we went out, and uh, you know what? My my ten year old Benjamin, uh, he prayed, okay, uh, and short, sweet, not a big deal. Uh, and uh, was it the most eloquent prayer that we've ever heard? No, but he prayed, and that's that's what I want to encourage you. So be a part of the next one, okay? Uh, and then uh, hey, if you're watching our Power Up and you can't be a part, I would encourage you. Hey, when we announce that we have one coming. Maybe you just take some time at the same time that we will be meeting, and maybe you just, uh, at, in your home, spend some time in prayer if uh, geographically you aren't in the area, okay? Now, uh, tomorrow, uh, which is Saturday, men, we have our men's prayer breakfast, so please be here for that. Sunday, uh, we'll have regular services, so please be at church for all of those services. All right, uh, enough of the prelims. Let's get into the Word of God here. Hit that share button if you haven't already done so. Romans chapter number 1 and verse number 16, and then we'll walk into 17 really quick. Okay, verse number 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, which is the power of God into salvation. To everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, salvation is available to all. All you have to do is simply believe that uh, God uh, can, will, uh, and will save you from your sin. Simple, simple. Salvation is so simple. Simply believe. And it's available to everybody. Now, verse number 17, where we're going to spend the bulk of our time this morning. Verse number 17, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed uh, from faith to faith. Uh, where is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith? In the gospel of Christ, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. We're going to find later on in uh, in Romans, in Romans chapter number three, and in other spots, we're going to find this contrast of the righteousness of God, uh, and in re in relation to who we are as human beings and our propensity to sin. Uh, the scriptures tell us there's none righteous, no, not one. Here we read about the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. We note that the scriptures even say that all our righteousness is as filthy rags. Okay, and so uh, we note these statements in scripture. We note these difficulties uh, in scripture here. Uh, they reveal who we are as human beings and our, the fact that uh, we need uh, a savior now for there it is the righteousness of god revealed from faith to faith know with me the last part of this verse the just shall live by faith uh, i'll be right back
okay, sorry about that. Uh, and, and apologize for it. Um, just want to just really quick before we jump back into the Word of God, just be in prayer for uh, Sandy Hall. She's been being uh, taken to the hospital in Traverse City. Uh, and so uh, just be in prayer for her. Not sure uh, everything that's going on, but be in prayer for her. And it sounds, uh, uh, I, I don't know how serious, but uh, just be in prayer for Sandy Hall. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Okay. Now, uh, just really quick, let's uh, let's look uh, here at the last part of this verse. And once again, sorry for the uh, interruption here. Uh, we see, for there it is the righteousness of God revealed from faith uh, to faith. Uh, in the gospel, the righteousness of God is, is revealed throughout the scriptures. We see the contrast of God's righteousness, man's righteousness. There's none righteous, no, not one. All our righteousness is as filthy rags. God's righteousness is... Uh, with, with, you think about this, when we trust Christ as our Savior, uh, we're, we're admitting that, uh, th that we cannot save ourselves, right? We're admitting that we need, that our righteousness doesn't cut it. We need God's righteousness. And so I want to just encourage you today uh, as, as we live for the Lord, okay, I want to encourage you along just a couple of lines. Let's be sure. Man, the, the, the world thinks that if they do enough good, they'll be saved, or that, that they'll experience heaven. They think, hey, I'm a good person. Uh, uh, and they might be a good person according to man's standards, but God's standards is this, for all, have, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We can't measure up to God's standard. That's what the book of Romans tells us. And so we must... Uh, trust in the righteousness of God uh, for our salvation. When we are saved, we're clothed in Jesus' righteousness. Now, there are some that believe uh, that uh, the righteousness of Jesus is placed upon us at uh, baptism. That is not what the scriptures teach us. Baptism is important. It's a sign of our obedience to God. It's a identification with Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. It's a showing uh, to uh, the saved, to the world. It's a showing of what God has done in our life, the fact that he has saved us. But we are not clothed in his righteousness at baptism. Okay, We are clothed with, uh, with Jesus' righteousness at salvation. And just a quick, quick evidence of that. The thief on the cross, he died on the cross. There was no possible way for him to be baptized, uh, to be clothed in Jesus' righteousness. So baptism does not save, okay? But rather it proves and it shows what God is already doing in our life, okay? Uh, so that, first of all, that's very important. Uh, and then uh, let's, let's consider this uh, even as well. Uh, we find that the rest of this verse says, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Now, uh, maybe at first glance, uh, we might take it, all right, the just, those that are saved, uh, they need to, to live by faith, yes. Uh, and uh, that that is very true. But as we consider salvation and the just shall live uh, by faith, uh, uh, how is it? Uh, that we are granted eternal life? Well, through Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, when we trust Christ as our Savior, we are justified uh, and, and uh, clothed in his righteousness. And a very simple definition is justification is just as if I had never sinned, okay? Because we are now viewed by God through the lens of Jesus' righteousness. And so the just shall live. We have eternal life through Christ. The just shall live by faith. Uh, that becoming just is accepting God's payment for our sin and trusting the Lord uh, as uh, our personal Savior. Okay, and so uh, tremendous truth there in verse number 17. All right, we're going to end with that this morning. Uh, thank you so much for uh, being on today. Uh, and hit that share button if you haven't already done so. Once again, I apologize. I had to duck away for a minute or two there. Thank you for sticking with me. Uh, I would encourage you, please be praying for Sandy Hall uh, as she is being uh, uh, 
uh, airlifted, I think airlifted or in the ambulance, I'm not sure, to the hospital in Traverse City. So let's be in prayer uh, for her. All right, Jody, good morning to you. Uh, Becky, good morning to you. Thank you so much for being on. Uh, Brian and Cindy, good morning as well. Have a great day. David and Claudia, thank you for being on. Good morning to you. Anchor, good morning. Love you. Have a great day. And Karen Porter, good morning. Ha good to have you on today. Uh, praying for you. Charlie and Marcia, good morning to you both as well. Paula, good morning. Thanks for being on. And Dennis and Geraldine, good morning to you both as well. Thank you for watching today. Hit that share button, everybody, if you haven't already done so. Lord willing, we'll touch base again and see you on Monday. Don't forget the events of this week and be sure and be here as you're able. Have a great day, everybody.